Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? I am doing pretty well. So, I am excited. I am here to do a review on a new mystery box. It's new to me anyway. Um, for those that have been on my channel before and you know, I got very disenchanted with my last mystery box. So, I decided to just stop that subscription and to find a new mystery box. So this one was actually, um, I had looked at it before. Well, no, I, you know what? No, I had not. Um, nope, nope. I got a suggestion from one of my viewers, thank you, thank you, um, to let me know about this box. And so when I finally made the decision I need a new mystery box, I actually went and looked at this box. Um, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to try this one first and it is from dispatch which is part of breakout company and what the breakout company does is they do escape rooms all over the country and I want to do an escape room so bad it is on my list to do I will do it one day um, but you know I'm a little claustrophobic <laughs> So I'm kind of afraid to do one because I'm a kind of afraid I might freak out once they shut the door and I know I cannot get out for an hour. So I, I have to uh, get over that hurdle first. But I think if I'm so engaged in doing a mystery, I think I'll be okay. But anyway, that's not even what this is all about. So um, I decided to try this company. And what it is, it's a mystery box. But what makes this one a little bit different is... This is a major mystery. You have little mysteries, like each box is a little mystery that goes along with the big mystery, right? So I think we're going to get six boxes for this first mystery. So this is the very first box, um, and it's called On the Run, and it's the introductory box. It's the introduction to this major mystery, right? So... Let me, it's a serial mystery. That's what they call it, a serial mystery. So it's several mysteries, but it's for one big mystery. Okay, so I knew right from the get-go that I was going to like it because it was a mystery to even get in the box. <laughs> the box, I didn't want to tear it open, and it was like, how do you get in it? Because it was glued. So... They glue it so your stuff don't come out. So that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me show you what all you get inside the box. And then I will do the review. Now, for those that have not seen one of my reviews on mystery boxes before, I try my best not to give away any solutions, any part of it, um, any of the story, any of that, because I don't want you, um, in case you are interested, I know... I wouldn't want to know everything about it before I got the box. So I try to, when I do the review, I try to just say what I like about the box. So um, I'm going to give my review and then I will do a hint section that I'll get a little bit more into the box, give away a little bit of hints um, in case you get stumped uh, because I'm not going to tell a fib. I did get a little stumped on this box and I found it very difficult to find some help online. Um, they do give you, as part of the box, they give you a detective card that you can email to get help. However, it's not instantaneous. Um, the very first email that I emailed them was because it was a general, I was just like, okay, uh, what do I do? How do I begin? Because that was a little iffy. Um, and so they responded with that almost immediately because that's a generic question. But when I had a more specific question, I've still not heard from them. And from what I've read by trying to find answers, um, sometimes it could take them up to 24 hours to get back with you. So, um, but I will give hints out the best I can. And if you want the solutions, just message me and I'll be more than happy to bust your bubble and give you a solution. No, I'm just kidding. I will be more than happy though, really, to give you solutions if you're stumped. So you can email me 
on here or you can go to my Facebook group or whatever. All right, so the very first thing that I saw was you get this card telling you all about what the company is, what the box is, all that kind of stuff. But what's cool is on the back side of this, you actually get a whole list of everything that's supposed to be in the box. I cannot tell you how much I loved this because there's nothing more frustrating than being into your box, really getting into it, and then all of a sudden you are like, huh and you're missing an item uh so at least this way from the very get-go you know if you need to contact them i didn't have to i had everything that i was supposed to have in the box okay um you get not only do you get that but you also get this beautiful journal journal right and this is from um the person that you're helping right so he sends you his journal with the story that you're to read. Okay, so you get that. You also get um, three newspaper clippings that help you with the story. Oops, I'm dropping everything everywhere, but you get three newspaper clippings that also help to tell the story. And also there's a little bit of clues, excuse me, with that. So you get that. You also get two um, covers of, a, of rag mags, right? You get a napkin with a note on it. You get a beautiful, beautiful invitation to a wedding and an RSVP card, okay? They're beautiful, beautiful. You also get, now y'all, never in my life, and I have lived a long life, mind you. I have been to a many a wedding, but now I will say I have not been one recently. They also give you a wedding program. I'm like, what in the world is a wedding program? We are so hot and mighty that we need a wedding program. So, but you get a wedding program. But what is good about this, though, is I have a feeling that some of these people in this are going to be suspects later on in the major mystery. So it's nice to have it written down for you. I love that. And then the last thing that you have is the toast written by the best friend whom the journal is from. So you have his toast here. So... All of this came in the box. It is nice. I mean, this is nice paper. It's printed nicely. Um, it's high quality. It's not cheap. It's high quality. And I really like that. Um, now, as far as the box itself goes, I love it. I love it. Oh, and I am not being sponsored by this company whatsoever. Um, but I just, I loved it because, I'm going to tell you, the writing is superb. I was so engrossed in this story that was being told that I don't even, I don't even know how long it took me to read it. I think I, per, I worked on this puzzle or this box for maybe two hours. I don't even know because I still... Um, just have this feeling of I've been there. I've been to where the story took me. I could visualize it. I could place myself where this thing, where all the things had happened. I, I don't know. It was just so well written that I got invested. And I, so for an introductory box, that's exactly what you want, right? You want to, you're person your subscriber to be invested they you know because now i want to know I, I got to know i don't want to know i got to know i got to know who did it why they do it what's the mystery i just gotta know i got to know so i am invested for at least the rest of this mystery i'm telling you that much right now um it had puzzles I love me some puzzles. Now, there were only three puzzles, but I'm okay with that, and I will tell you why. I'm okay with it because it's an introductory box, right? We had to get to know 
the characters. We had to get, like I said, we had to get invested in them for us to take our time, you know, to even want to figure out this mystery, right? So we had to know the backstory. So a lot of the box was a lot of backstory, right? It was telling about the family, telling about uh, how they got their money and all of that. And it all, you know, comes together. You're going to need to know all of this. Um, so I was okay with doing a lot of the reading um, because in the end it's going to help. And three puzzles was okay. At least I got some puzzles, right? And they weren't um, just easy peasy puzzles either, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now because I got stumped. Um, so you got, you get three puzzles and, um, you also, let's see, the writing superb, three puzzles. There was another thing. Oh my gosh, it just slipped my mind. Uh oh. There were, let's see, three puzzles. Another reason why I like the bugs. Oh no. Hold on. Just a second. I, I remember now. <laughs> I had to think of it. Okay, so you have the writing, which was superb. You have your puzzles, which I love. And then you have sleuthing, which is what I want to do, is what I love these boxes. This is why I want these boxes. I, If I wanted just to read and deduce, I would pick up a mystery novel. If I wanted just to do puzzles, I had, there's... A, I even have an app on my phone to do cryptograms and stuff like that. So those are all out there if I wanted to do that, you know, individually. What I love is the sleuthing part where you actually take all your information and then you get involved in it, right? And you get engrossed in it where you have to go on the internet. You have to use your cell phone. You got to go to different, you know, apps. And you have to actually do a little bit of sleuthing. You have to do interactive play with it. Mm -hmm. So it gave me the best of everything that I want in a box. It gave me superb writing. It gave me my puzzles that I love. And it also gave me the interacting sleuthing part that I crave. And I just, oh my gosh. I just, I love it. Love it. So far, I am in love. If all the boxes are like this, I will never complain. Never. Because they're giving me what I want. A little bit of everything right so I love it the price I feel is very nice is $24.95 a month which is I love that price <laughs> it's a nice budget price I really enjoy it um, and I th I feel like it's really worth it like I said I spent a couple of hours on it so if you think about it if you go to a movie, which I don't really go to movies a lot because, I don't know, I like reading and I like, you know, doing stuff like that. I'm not much on uh, watching movies. But sometimes, you know, I go like Star Wars. If Star Wars is out, I have to go see Star Wars. Like the new uh, Marvel thing, movie, not thing, but movie the where they're all together. Well, I, I want to go see that because I like those. I like them when they're all together. I don't like individual. But anyway, so, but like if we all go to a movie, man, that's like 50 bucks to go to a movie. This is $24.95 for a couple of hours of fun and enjoyment. And even more than that, because like I said, I'm still having a feeling. And I did this like some, I started it last night and then I finished it this morning. And it's like 530 right now and I am still feeling uh, the joy from doing this puzzle you know so it's well worth it it's well worth it so if you are looking for a mystery box that will give you reading a good story not mediocre but a really good story gives you puzzles and gives you sleuthing gives you interactive where you have to go on the internet and stuff like that I highly, 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 I cannot recommend this box to you enough. Um, if you just want to read and deduce, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get this box. And if you like to just do puzzles and you don't like to go on the internet and stuff like that, I wouldn't do this box. Because you're going to have to do some sleuthing, which is what I want to do. So, again, box one, mwah, mwah, five out of five stars. I 
love it love it so that is my review on this box now um, I am going to start talking about uh, hints which will give a little bit more of the box away it'll give uh, more of the story and all that kind of stuff because I kind of have to to give some of the hints away um, so if you're not interested in that then I would stop the video and I say goodbye and thank you for watching um, but if you want to know the hints then just stay tuned because here they come. Okay, so the hint. All right, let's delve into this, y'all. Okay, so let me tell you what the story is about. So this guy, his name is James, right? And the person who sent us this journal is his best friend. They were childhood best friends, right? And so James started working for this high snooty tooty family, right? The Van Nesses, no Van Cresses, sorry, Cress, Van Cresses. And uh, he started working them for them as their accountant, right? And then uh, lo and behold, one day he had seen the daughter around, but one day he just spoke to her and it was like pew, 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 fireworks, right? And they fell in love with each other. So, and at first he was like, Surely he, she can't be in love with me. The grandfather disapproved of him. He didn't want a commoner to be in his family and da da da. And he kind of acted like a, a mob boss and all this kind of stuff, right? And, um, but they still got engaged and they still got married. But in between, like, the best friend was getting like weird uh, messages or phone calls, you know, and, and from James. And he would just be really weird and would say stuff that really made no sense to him. And he was like, what are you talking about? So he just thought it was like wedding nerves and stuff like that. So he kind of like just brushed it to the side and all this kind of stuff. Well, they get married. Everything is kosher. They're on their honeymoon. And then all of a sudden, James calls the best friend and is like, oh my God, she's dead. She's dead. They've killed her. And he was like, what? He was like, I had to tell her the, you know, secret. And now she's dead. You're, you know, you're in danger too. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, I gotta go. Here they come. And he was like, what, 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 what? What's going on? So the best friend is like freaking out. He's like, what is going on? I don't know what's going on. So then... The police get involved. Now, they're in Maui. They're in Hawaii, right? And so, the police get involved. And, of course, James is going to be the first suspect. And he is. They don't even look for anybody else. They think James does it. And, of course, James is like, dudes, I didn't do it. What are you talking about? I loved her. Somebody else did it. I told her my secret, and it got her killed. And we're like, what's the secret? What's the secret? Still don't know what the secret is, mind you. I'm sure that's in different boxes. Okay, so now here comes the best friend, right? And so, the best friend is like... Uh, oh my gosh, you know, what can I do? And, and James is just like, uh, you know, I, I'm doomed or whatever. So they try him, they find him guilty, and somehow he escapes from the authorities, right? So he's obviously got help somewhere because he was in custody and now he's escaped. So our job is to figure out where did he go? So that is the job of the first box. We have to figure out where in San Diego are you? I don't know. So, I'm like, okay, I know I've got to find out where he's at, but I am stumped. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, I went, when I read everything, like, okay, I'm going to show y'all. Like, the newspaper clippings, some of them might have stuff circled. And if you do, you notice it, and you go there. Like, for instance, this is somebody on Instagram. So you go on to Instagram and you follow this person because it might be a clue. Well, yes, from there, I found out how the family got their money. They got it from a copper mine in Chile. Okay, so I'm like, I got to remember that. I know that's got to be important because why would it be on this Instagram account if it doesn't, if it's not going to help me, right? Um, and then again, in this clipping there's another website that you go to and when you go there you get more story and I believe this is the what no that isn't where and uh, that's this you get there's a email there's a website on the RSVP card that you go to and you put in your code and 
um, then you get more information. And this is where you learn how James and Victoria, that's her name, how they met and how they fell in love. It's such a sweet story. I'm like, oh my God, it's so sweet. And so, so I've gone to all these places that I can think of. And I'm like, but I don't understand. Hmm. What, what else am I supposed to do? I don't even know how to begin. So I, I emailed them. I emailed the detective. And I was like, look it. I know I got to find where he's at. But dude, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know how to begin. So of course they sent back. Because that's a generic question. Like how do you start? How do you begin? So they send me back an email. And they're like, look for clues left in letters. And I was like, look for clues left in letters. Now I did notice from James. So I did notice this napkin had a, a note and I read it like two times and I was like, so with that I was like, huh, uh, wait a minute. Hold the phone. So I looked and I noticed that this line, this sentence was underlined and I'm like, mm -hmm. and then I noticed that the word me and calm were together and I was like, uh, that's, that's the website. That's the website right there that I got to go to. Sure enough, it was. So I put in the website and then a riddle pops up. I'm like, Ooh. So the first puzzle was you trying to figure out how to even begin it, which is you go to this website, right? And then the second puzzle is this riddle pops up. And I don't remember what the riddle says off the top of my head, but I knew it had, it had the word mine in it. Not like a copper mine like what the company owns but like mine like mine 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 you know like that mine so it had the word mine in it and it had the word hidden and I'm like there's got to be something about those two because the family owns a copper mine there's got to be something so I just googled copper mine chili or not copper mine but hidden mine chili is what because their mine is in Chile and sure enough this Wikipedia page pops up and I took the name of that mine put it in as the answer and <laughs> bravo bravo that was the answer so then that pops up and then a another puzzle comes up so this is the third and final puzzle and what it is is on the back of on it the top of it has this, which I saw this like 15 times. I kept looking at it like, I know you got to mean something. You got to mean something. So it was on this the website, right? And then when you put your cursor over it though, it changed a little. And it had a different number on it. And I was like, I know that's got to be something. It's got to be something. Because online, this line is straight. Where it's crooked on this, but online it's straight. And then when you rolled over it with the, the mouse or the cursor, it would look like a snaky road. And I was like, I wonder if that's snake road in Chile. Because I know there, there's a snake road in Chile. So I googled snake road Chile and put in everything that came up with that. Nothing. I was like, oh! And then, so then I took the two numbers and subtracted them. I got 255. And I'm like, okay, that's not telling me anything. I don't know. So I was stumped. I was, I knew it all had to mean something, but I just was not sure what it was. So I emailed the detective again. Still have not heard from them. So luckily, then I thought, okay, let me go to Facebook. Maybe they have a discussion group because, you know, most boxes do. Sure enough, thank goodness, they did. And uh, you have to ask to join, which I did, and they were nice enough to um, let me join. And so I just started reading the comments because only the ones that referred to box one, though, because I didn't want to, I didn't want any hints for any other boxes. I just wanted them for box one. So I kept looking and kept looking, and a lot of people were stumped about this. And then finally, um, you know, then they were like, just go back to the map. Um you know, and just go down. And I was like, go back to the map and go down. Because if you put in the co in the coordinates, because there's coordinates up at the top, uh, when you go to the hint pay, or when you put in the name of the mine, uh, there's coordinates that pop up. And if you click on those and, you know, hit 
you know, search or whatever, the, the Google Maps comes up and there's the mine. The, the real mine is right there. And so I was like, okay, so I had already done that. I knew it had to do something with the map. I knew it, knew it, knew it. And then I kept looking and there's a river that's beside the mine and at first it's just barely and then all of a sudden it gets crazy like the snake and I was like oh okay so keep going down and then the hint on Facebook said uh, you will see a name of a city and it will jump out at you you will know it immediately and when you do that is the name of what you've got to put in. I was like okay so I kept searching and so I kept going down till the river got really snaky looking but I saw like El Salvador tried El Salvador Chile no uh, I saw Los Angeles no not it I saw even San Diego no not it so I was like dang so I just kept following the river though and then sure enough the name of the city comes up because you will know it when you see it you really will and you're I'm just like oh that's it that's it right there and uh, so I put it in and sure enough bingo that was it so and then what pops up is a letter from James to his best friend saying uh, you know oh my god I told her the truth it got her killed you're in danger as well I can't afford to tell you right now what's going on because you might be watched this might be intercepted blah 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 Please, you know, just be on the lookout for um, more information from me. I was like, oh, bravo, bravo, bravo. So now we're just waiting for box two, right, to come from James to give us more information because he didn't do it. We don't believe he did it. The best friend doesn't believe he did it. I don't believe he did it. And so we've got to figure out who did it. And so he's going to help us to do that. So the next box is, is you know, going to be even more more on the story so I cannot wait I am so excited so 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 excited so that is it for the hints that I'm going to give again if you want the solutions just email me and I'll be more than happy to give them to you if you need them so yes it's a great box y'all it's a great story I love it love it love it so um if you love sleuthing if you love puzzles if you love a good mystery then I highly recommend this box. So um, I hope this video, if you are looking for a review and for some uh, some hints, I hope it helped you. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell though, so you'll be notified every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.